Hey guys, Matt from soundrolling.com and this is a bit of a strange video. This is basically, I wanted to show you a bit of progression beforehand to give you a bit of context over um, just radio mic straps in general. Um, so let's start off with Neopax. So back in the day, I had uh, these Neopax. Um, again, they were kind of, they're quite a lot thicker. Um, they don't have uh, certain design features uh, like little indents uh, to really properly hold the, the kind of pack upside down without quite a fair bit of uh, grip in it. Um, they do stretch a fair bit. Um, they have Velcro, they are basically your pretty standard uh, kind of what people think of as a basic for a belt strap. And they fold into a pretty big size so it it's, can be quite hard to store quite a lot of them. Let's compare it to Ursa. So first off the bat, they are a little bit thinner. Uh, this one's actually a bit longer because it's a, a kind of dual TX pack. Um, but basically, let's go through the features again. I first did the video on Ursa straps in uh, August 2016. Um, so the main idea is still uh, we have kind of stretchy fabric, which is nice, soft on the skin. Uh, we have a Velcro patch, obviously for sticking to itself. Um, we have... Uh, color coordination, which is quite nice because if you're looking at a pack um, and you don't just want to guess on size, whether it's a thigh, an ankle, or a waist strap, um, then yeah, you can tell through here if it's medium, small, large, that kind of deal. Um, you can see here that it's, if I crash zoom in, dun dun dun, uh, you can see here that that little stitching on the top uh, actually means that you can definitely hold a TR TX pack in, so even if you let it hold completely loose, um, then it's basically fine. Uh, they came up with this uh, place to hide the cable. A uh, little bit small, to be honest. Maybe it could, could be a little bit bigger. Uh, but again, depending on uh, how, much, how much of the kind of cable you're using, generally I find a cable to be roughly about a meter and a half, two meters from a mic cable maybe. Meter and a half. Meter and a half sounds fair. Um, so yeah, so maybe, maybe that could be a little bit wider. Um, and again, I accidentally got uh, quite a lot of the straps wet, accidentally putting them in some water. Um, and again, they, they do get damp. They would dry a lot easier than the Neopax, just purely for having less fabric and being thinner, so easier to dry. So now let's move on to Viviana. So if I just showed you just from this side, uh, you would probably think that this was a Nursa strap. Um, again, I mean, this, they, there's pretty much solid colors, so it's not necessarily just about the color. Um, pretty much loads of products do um, black, white, and beige, uh, or skin skin color, for, for lack of a better term. Um, this one they've basically just printed Viviana straps on, sent me over very kindly. And um, again, we're seeing very, very similar features, um, which is what's hard to, which is what's going to make this video kind of just super awkward for me, but it's just kind of, I feel it's fair to kind of point out. So we have that color coding. Uh, we still have the stitches on the side so the TX packs don't come out. We've got a slightly larger cable holder, which is nice. Uh, but again, literally does seem like a, 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 a design. Um, we have the logo and yeah, very, very similar. Let's, so let's go, let's go back to the Ursa thigh strap. And when I mean back, I mean basically back to Neopax and how this has evolved. So we saw the Neo packs before, uh, Velcro, kind of thick, soft, uh, kind of kind of like a yeah a meaty, almost sports fabric. Although I think if you were wearing this in the gym, you would definitely sweat a lot. Um, no no things over the top. Uh, again, it's just shorter uh, to fit around the thigh. And um, this is probably a large one, maybe I don't know. Uh, a thigh is as big as people's heads. Um, so yeah, so then development, Ursa 2016. Um, the, big, the big difference here is uh, this hypoallergenic um, kind of grip, polyurethane, that's what they call it. Um, and the idea is that it's, it's kind of sticking to skin or helping with the grip. Um, it's used a lot in uh, bras, according to my girlfriend. And um, yeah, so the idea is, I mean, this version has like a, a side a side pocket, which I'm not that fan of, but they do do one which is straight up and down. Uh, but sometimes you do need this um, to be able to actually hide the antenna. Antennas are probably about this long and 
hiding outside of a mini skirt uh, probably doesn't uh, bode that well. Um, there's in this version there's no kind of um, cable strap on it. Uh, the the other ones that they do have a, again that little cable strap feature. They have the same features as the, basically the Ursa waist strap. So we've got again the color coordination, so you know that it's a thigh, and you can guess the size as well. Um, and again, they roll up really thin, and they work pretty well. So now let's go over to Viviana. So Viviana straps. Um, again, it, looking very very similar. <laughs> Unfortunately, for the purposes of this video, um, again, we have uh, a logo, very nice. Um, we have a Velcro strap. Uh, instead of one solid strip, we have two strips. Uh, maybe a design to just try and give a bit of air in the middle. Um, then we have uh, the belt pack, um, and then some color coordination, and then uh, kind of two, two um, kind of cable cable ties kind of either side, um, cable holders. Um, they're a bit bigger. It's, uh, it's nice to have it on both sides. But again, the, I guess the whole point of my video is just wondering if that is, uh, warrant, if that is warrant enough to uh, just set up a whole company and have the same features. Feels really, it feels like I'm being really harsh, but uh, I've I sent these things and I really wanted them to have a uh, sort of big enough advancement. So with what you've seen so far, I know other people have bought Viviana straps before. Um, the price seems to be very, very similar to the Ursa straps as well. Um, I totally agree that Neopax is a bit dead in the water in terms of um, coming forward, although um, I did, yeah, I checked their website and they, yeah, I wonder if they're gonna bring out anything, who knows? Um, but for me, the, the leap to Viviana straps isn't as, advanced as the company that's uh, kind of broke broke through, changed the game, and uh, has been developing them ever since. Um, so we'll see what happens with Viviana. I don't know, but I'm just going to leave it over to you. That's kind of the best way to, to deal with this. You've heard my thoughts. I want to hear yours. So get down in the comments below. And if you want to, you can always watch this video. It's apparently what YouTube is thinks that's best for you. So until then, subscribe, and I'll see you later.